guys, today is Thursday. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Hi, Hi. She picked me up from the train, so I'm home from work now. Normally I wouldn't be home for like another half an hour or so, but she picked me up from the train at her house. Cause today is my dad's birthday. So she's just gonna take me home there after. So she picked me up and we're gonna eat something and then go over to my house and get my dad a cake for his birthday. And my mom's not even home, I called her and she's like, oh, I'm on my way to Manhattan to church. First of all, she never goes to Manhattan. And she's going to a church on the day of my dad's birthday. It was so random, I was like, what, where, where are you going? Like, it was so weird. Um, anyway, but I am here. And I wanna tell you guys, cause today, I just hated my outfit so, so, so much. I am getting rid of these pants, and although, Paulina, stop talking, I'm trying to vlog here. And although I tried to plan out my outfits ahead of time, I hate this outfit so much. I feel like a grandma, okay? I texted like everybody this morning. I was like, I look like a grandma. I hate my outfit. I am getting rid of these pants. First thing I do when I get home today. I just, I can't. Oh my gosh, never ever ever wearing this outfit again and it makes me happy that I didn't film like a video on this because it's the most hideous outfit ever and I know it's hideous guys. But, so, the original outfit was just this and the khakis and I obviously have to wear black shoes because that's pretty much all I have. And then it's always cold on the train and stuff and sometimes in the classrooms because we have the AC on and the kids get cold and whatever. So then I had this cardigan. Guys, this outfit is just all sorts of wrong. I really don't know what's going on here, but I hate it so much. So yes, we're getting rid of these pants later. Just needed to point that out. Like when I left yes, my house please. this morning, <laughs> yes please, Belinda, I will. I got rid of the pants. But when I left my house this morning, I was like, <sighs> you know like, you know when you don't feel good in your own clothes and you just feel like you're gonna have a bad day and I was like, it's, it's gonna be a terrible And life. you wanna hide in the garbage? And I, yeah, I, I <laughs> wanted to hide, legit. Like, I even took off this shirt. I took it off on the Long Island Railroad today. I did, I was like, you know what? It's better to be all black on top with khaki pants than without this shirt. Like, then I felt a little bit better what? and it looks a little better without the cardigan too. Ooh, what is it? Is it like a matte, like matte, is it matte? I have no idea. Red fire? It because you like red and I don't. I don't really want to wear red right now though. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So Plan is opening a PR package from ELF right now. I like this color, this is like the color of my lipstick. It is a mauve color. She got this color called Red Siren. These are the weirdest shit. Oh, this one? This one's like a blue red. Blue toned red. And then these things, let me see how it feels. What? <laughs> what is this? It's supposed it to be. like a boob. Oh my god, it does feel like a boob. It, oh my god, it, it has so little weird. handles. That is, this how one, do you this hold one this? doesn't have handles. Oh my handles. god, look. Look. Interesting. I feel like I'm hitting myself with jellyfish. I feel like this feels like when I did that egg challenge where I tried to do my makeup with an egg. Doesn't it kind what? of feel like a cooked egg? Ew, what is right? this? Right? Egg or a boob or something. <laughs> it's a beauty blender. Funniest thing ever. All right, guys. I just want to tell you guys about my outfits and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I felt like poop today when I went to school. I was like, I legit just hate my outfit so much. Like when you hate your outfit, you feel like you're going to have a bad day. You just don't, you just, you don't want to show yourself to the world. You just want to hide in the garbage can, like Felina said. <laughs> and what? Wait, this one's for you. Merry Christmas. That's an extra one. Thanks. Got a, got myself a, ooh, you gave me the one with the handle. Yeah. Wait, can you do me a favor? Polina got a feast for me right here. We got some broccoli, some noodles, and some shrimp. And then she also has this chicken cooking. She got some tomato soup, garlic bread. This is the meal prepped food, but I'm pretty sure we could eat that too, right? No? Yes, no? We can. <laughs> oh, we can? <laughs> but actually, I'm just gonna have the broccoli, noodles, and shrimp. So we decided to come to TJ Maxx to buy just a couple containers. I found another one for my celery and hummus. And I want to show you guys, this is I like a childhood over. memory right there. That bungee right? jumping whopper. Yeah, you can turn around. The bungee whopper, guys. This whopper you could jump on and stuff is the best thing ever. So anyway. 
anyway, as I was saying, I, when we were growing up, um, they always had like this whopper outside of our house where you could like jump. And it was the coolest thing ever. Me and her used to go there all the time. It was the best thing. And then after a while, they stopped doing it. And now I saw one at this Burger King. Where is it? In my thingy right there. They have a whopper here at this Burger King. I totally wish I was still kind of like young and I could just like go on there. Okay guys, so we went and picked up a cake or tried to pick up a cake from Dunkin Donuts but the cake cakes weren't like they didn't have awesome flavors. Like I don't know what was happening over there. It was like all Oreo, white Oreo chocolate and vanilla chocolate and just like no, that's like Carvel status and we didn't want something like that. So we went to Dunkin Donuts and bought a polar pizza. That's Carolina's idea. Polar pizza ice cream pie. Oh, that shit. we're pretending oh, is a hurt. cake and um, we had written happy birthday dad on it but you could you can't really tell actually because it's like you know all bumpy and stuff on the cake okay guys that polar pizza was pretty good um very 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 sweet though like the bottom is brownie and then the rest we had like caramel and a heath bar and whatever and it was very very sweet it was good but very very sweet definitely not something um i would eat all the time i don't know i, I prefer my baked cakes i'm not even like i like ice cream cake and i'm fine with the one that the lady makes with her like homemade ice cream and stuff that we normally order but I also just really really like the cakes that I make so I don't know it was just overly sweet to me but I think my dad was happy and surprised that my sister was here so that all worked out. Mr. Kuba is always so happy to see me. Oh nice of you to turn around boo thank you so much for turning around. <laughs> um, so he's been like sleeping with me non-stop he literally goes to bed with me even though everyone else is still awake and when I go to bed he goes to bed with me. And then in the morning, he wakes up with me, goes to the bathroom with me, and then as I continue to get ready, he comes back to my bed. Normally, he would go into somebody else's bed if I, like, if I was awake or something, but like ever since I started teaching, he stays in my bed like the whole entire time. I don't know, but he's so, so precious. I love him so much. Yeah, I love you so much. All right, guys. And so tomorrow for at school, we have a field trip. I have like my own group of kids that I don't even, I haven't even met yet. So I'm a little nervous about that. We got to take them on the subway, manage them on the subway, make sure they're not too loud, disrupting other people's commute, commuting time and just make sure I don't lose any kids on the subway and I get them to Prospect Park, I think it's in Brooklyn, safely. So, I'm very, very nervous about that. I never have, to have had to do anything like this before. I've been on a field trip with kids before, but we took a bus, so obviously it was a lot easier to manage than managing a whole group of kids on a subway train. So I'm a little nervous about that. So it should be interesting, but fun at the same time. So I will let you guys know how it goes tomorrow, and until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog. Bye.